Social Learning Theory Social Learning Theory, developed by psychologist Albert Bandura, is an important concept that explains how people learn new behaviors, skills, and attitudes by observing others. The theory emphasizes that learning is not just about direct experience or trial and error. Instead, it occurs by watching others, which is called observational learning or modeling. In simple terms, social learning theory suggests that we can learn a lot just by watching what other people do, how they behave, and the outcomes of their actions. One of the key points in social learning theory is that learning takes place in a social context. This means that the environment, including the people around us, plays a huge role in shaping our behavior. For example, children often learn behaviors by observing their parents, teachers, or even characters on television. Similarly, adults can learn new skills or behaviors by observing others in the workplace or in social settings. A fundamental part of this theory is the idea that people do not just passively observe, they actively think about what they are seeing. When someone watches another person, they pay attention to the behavior, the consequences of that behavior, and whether or not the behavior is something worth copying. If the person being observed is rewarded for their actions, others are more likely to imitate that behavior. If they are punished, people are less likely to copy it. An example of social learning theory in action is when a child watches an older sibling receive praise for completing their homework. The younger child may be motivated to do their own homework because they have seen that it leads to a positive outcome, praise from a parent. On the other hand, if the older sibling is scolded for not doing their homework, the younger child may avoid making the same mistake. Bandura's famous experiment, called the Bobo Doll Experiment, demonstrates social learning theory very clearly. In this experiment, children watched adults interact with an inflatable doll. Some of the adults were aggressive toward the doll, while others were non-aggressive. The children who observed the aggressive adults were more likely to imitate that behavior and act aggressively toward the doll themselves. This showed how observing others can directly influence behavior, even without direct reinforcement. One of the most important concepts in social learning theory is the idea of reinforcement. In traditional learning theories, reinforcement, rewards or punishments, is seen as necessary for learning to take place. However, in social learning theory, reinforcement can be indirect. This means that we do not need to experience the reward or punishment ourselves to learn from it. Instead, we can learn by observing someone else being rewarded or punished, and this is called vicarious reinforcement. This is a powerful aspect of the theory because it shows that people can learn from the experiences of others, not just their own. Another crucial part of social learning theory is the role of cognitive processes. Bandura argued that people do not simply copy everything they observe. They use their minds to process and evaluate the behavior they are seeing. For example, when someone watches another person solve a problem, they may mentally rehearse the steps that person took, evaluating whether or not they would be able to replicate those steps. This process involves attention, retention, remembering what was observed, reproduction, the ability to replicate the behavior, and motivation, the desire to perform the behavior. All these mental steps are necessary for learning to occur through observation. The influence of social learning theory can be seen in many areas of life. In education, teachers use the theory to model positive behaviors and academic skills for their students. When students see their teachers demonstrating how to solve a math problem or how to behave respectfully in class, they are more likely to mimic these behaviors. In workplaces, employees often learn job skills by observing their colleagues, especially during training periods. 
Social learning theory is also relevant in media, where people may learn behaviors, attitudes, and social norms by watching characters in movies, television shows, or on social media. The theory also has important implications for understanding the development of behaviors in society. For example, if aggressive behavior is frequently shown in the media without any negative consequences, people may begin to think that aggression is an acceptable way to handle problems. On the flip side, if media consistently shows kindness and cooperation being rewarded, viewers may learn to value these behaviors more. One of the criticisms of social learning theory is that it may oversimplify the process of learning. Some critics argue that learning is not just about observation and imitation. Other factors like individual personality, emotions, and biological factors also play important roles in shaping behavior. Additionally, not everyone who observes a behavior will imitate it. Personal factors, such as values or beliefs, can influence whether or not someone decides to adopt a behavior they have observed. Despite these criticisms, social learning theory has had a profound impact on how we understand learning and behavior. It has been applied in various fields, including education, psychology, criminology, and even marketing. For example, in advertising, companies often use celebrities to model the use of a product, with the hope that consumers will be motivated to imitate the behavior and purchase the product. Another interesting application of social learning theory is in understanding criminal behavior. Some criminologists argue that individuals learn to commit crimes by observing others in their environment. For instance, if someone grows up in a neighborhood where criminal behavior is common and seen as acceptable, they may learn to view crime as a normal part of life. This is why interventions like mentorship programs, where individuals are exposed to positive role models, can be effective in preventing criminal behavior. In therapy and counseling, social learning theory is often used to help individuals change negative behaviors. By observing positive behaviors in others, people can learn new, healthier ways of coping with stress, managing relationships, or dealing with emotions. For example, in group therapy settings, participants may observe others using healthy communication strategies or demonstrating resilience and they can learn to apply these strategies in their own lives. In conclusion, social learning theory provides valuable insights into how we learn from the people and environment around us. It shows that learning is not just about trial and error, but about observation, thinking, and processing information. Through observation, reinforcement, and cognitive processes, we can learn a wide range of behaviors and skills that help us navigate social situations, solve problems, and grow as individuals. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. Your support helps us continue to create educational videos. Thank you for watching.